this week at Upper Room. The feet of praise dancers are gearing up for dance training sessions. Exciting things are planned during this time of dance intensive. All who are interested in joining feet of praise should contact Sister Tabitha Rayford. For additional information and rehearsal dates, send an email to feetofpraise at gmail.com. The youth department has resumed in-person youth Bible study and is calling on all elementary, middle, and high school students to participate. Meet us right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. The theme is The Lord is the Strength of My Life, and we look forward to seeing the youth department well represented in Bible study. The Let's Talk Truth podcast is back for its second season. Join us Monday, March 13th at 7.30 p.m. as we air the latest episode, Christian Fundamentals, Our Belief Concerning Christ. Tune in to our YouTube and Facebook outlets for viewing this episode with guest panelists, Brittany Evans and Caleb Owens. Be sure to join us not only tomorrow, but throughout the year as we engage our generation with God's truth. Join the Upper Room Missionary Circle for Friday Night Live to be held Friday, March 17th via conference call at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. The inspirational speaker will be missionary, Tabitha Rayford, and our main speaker will be Evangelist Desedra Murden. Prepare yourselves for this time of prayer along with the word of the Lord. The number to participate is 605-313-4802 and the access code is 563-380. Mark your calendars for the New Horizon District Meeting, hosted by Superintendent William H. Cooper II, to be held Tuesday, March 21st through Thursday, March 23rd, and Sunday, March 26th. The services will take place at Unity Worship Center, located at 1106 East Webb Avenue in Burlington on March 21st, 22nd, and 26th, while the Thursday, March 23rd service with our prelate, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr., for the speaker, will be held here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. The NC Third Missions Department will hold a missions trip information session to be held Saturday, March 18th at 9 a.m. in Classroom 1 before the call meeting. This meeting is open to all who are interested in missions work in foreign fields. The focus will be on preparing naturally and spiritually for optimal effectiveness in each missions endeavor. Valuable information will be presented for prayerful consideration as we make an impact around the world for Jesus Christ. For questions, please see Missionary Sherry Walker, the Global Affairs Coordinator, or send an email to nc3rdmissions at gmail.com. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. If you are in or visiting the Raleigh area and looking for an opportunity to gather with the saints for a God-first experience, the Upper Room is pleased to offer two services every Sunday morning. Join us at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. for Sunday worship service in the sanctuary. You can also join the Upper Room Church of God in Christ every Sunday at 11 a.m. and Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. for the live stream of our services on Facebook Live and YouTube Live. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. will bring a fresh word from the Lord relevant to our times and equip you to contend for the faith. Thank you to our viewers throughout the United States and abroad for your weekly support of our broadcast. Please be reminded there are several ways to give to the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. For online giving, please visit easytithe.com forward slash URC. Also, please use only one email address for each Easy Tithe account so we can properly track your giving. Within Easy Tithe, you can now initiate the Recur option, which allows you to select a designated amount to be automatically deducted from your account. You may also visit our website, upperroomgospel.org, and select the Giving tab, or you can mail your gift to the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, Post Office Box 447, Garner, North Carolina, 27529. As always, thank you very much for supporting the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Mother Annie Barnes will celebrate her birthday Monday, March 13th. Please join us in wishing her a very happy birthday. Ladies, Second Tuesday Night Sisters Bible Study, Strength, Intensifying Your Prayer Life, is approaching fast and will begin March 14th. This experiential study will explore four critical components necessary for intensifying your prayers and moving the heart of God. Dinner will be served in the Fellowship Hall at 6 p.m. and will end at 6.45 p.m. to ensure starting properly at 7 p.m. in the sanctuary. Registration packets are ready for pickup, so please visit the tables in the lobby and hallways and get yours today. Be sure to mark your calendars for Bishop Wooden's upcoming preaching engagements in your area. 
He will be the speaker for the Greater Truth District Meeting, hosted by Superintendent James Parker, to be held Wednesday, March 15th at 7 p.m. The service will take place at Pillar and Ground of Truth, Church of God in Christ, located at 950 Mac Todd Road in Zebulon. He will also be the guest speaker for the Arkansas First Jurisdiction Annual Spring Conference, hosted by Bishop Jewel Withers, to be held Thursday, March 16th at 7.30 p.m. The service will take place at Holy Temple Cathedral Church of God in Christ, located at 1322 Pulaski Street in Little Rock, Arkansas. Bishop Wooden will be the guest speaker for the Virginia Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction 56th Annual Workers' Conference, hosted by Interim Prelate Bishop Prince E. W. Bryant Sr., to be held Wednesday, March 17th at 7.30 p.m. The service will take place at Garden of Prayer Temple, located at 1001 Church Street in Norfolk, Virginia. The first NC Third Call meeting of 2023 will be held Saturday, March 18th at 10 a.m. Everyone is invited to come out and hear the official address from our prelate, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. National assessments for all credential holders will be due at this time. If you have questions, please see Jurisdictional Secretary Elder Corey McNeil. Please govern yourselves accordingly with this week's announcements.